In this video, we will create a KVM virtual machine using Work Manager. I have a server with the KVM virtualization enabled. If you want to install KVM virtualization on a server, you can see the installation instructions at serverok.in slash KVM. I will put the link to this page in the description. On this page, we have installation instructions for various operating systems like Ubuntu, Debian and CentOS. Once you have a server with the KVM installed, you will be able to connect to the server and create virtual machine. To connect to the server, we will be using software called Word Manager. So click on Show Applications. Search for Word Virtual Machine Manager. Now you need to connect to the KVM server. I have passwordless authentication enabled for this server. So I can just enter ssh root at the rate ip of the server. It will log me in without asking for a password. In Word Manager, go to the file menu, add connection, check this uh, checkbox, connect to remote host over ssh, then username already selected root and host name. We need to put the IP address. There is an option for auto connect. I don't uh, enable this one because I have multiple surveys. As you can see, there is three surveys. All of these not connected. Click on connect. To create a new virtual machine, click on the server. Click on this computer icon or you can go to the file new virtual machine. Select the first option as we will be using an ISO image slash v var lib lib word images. This is the folder where you need to put the images. If you look here, you can see there is already an image Windows 10. So we select this first option, click on forward, then click on this browse. That will show the ISO available. Okay, click on this Windows 10 ISO. Choose volume. Then it will detect the operating system. It is none detected. So we will search for Win. Microsoft. I select this uh, Windows Server 2016. Forward. We need to put the amount of RAM. This server have 30 GB, 32 GB. I will give 30 GB for this virtual machine. Put it here. We have eight CPU cores available. So I will give seven core for this virtual machine. To see how many cores available, you can run cat proc cpu info command that will show all the cpus this is processor 7 actually it start with processor 6 0 uh, so 0 to 7 that is 8 cores for the cpu this is the cpu model name click on forward now it ask for how much disk space you need for this virtual machine. df-h command will show how much disk is available. We have 376 GB disk available. So I will put 350 GB for this virtual machine because this will be the only virtual machine I will be running on this server. Click on forward. Here you need to enter a name for your virtual machine. Better use a name without any space because you need to use this name to stop and start the virtual machine using VARSH CTL command in command prompt. On network selection, it is selected as NAT. When you host a virtual machine, you normally use a bridge network that allow the virtual machine to be a accessible from outside the internet. With the NAT, the virtual machine is not available to the public. Uh, for this use case, I don't need virtual machine to be available on internet. 
but the virtual machine able to access the internet. Click on finish. Now the KVM is creating the virtual machine. Now the virtual machine is created and started running. Windows 10 installation have started now. The installation is just like any normal Windows installation. You need to just click accept license etc. until it finished. Installation is completed and Windows is rebooting now. Now you need to select the region. Click on yes. Keyboard layout. Select United Kingdom. Click on yes. It is asking if you want to add another keyboard layout. I don't want to add another layout so I click on skip. Click on offline account. Click on the limited experience. Put your whatever name you want here. Click on next. It is asking for a password. Click on next. You need to type the password again. Now Windows is doing the initial setups. You need to wait until it is finished. We have the message almost there. Yes, we, the installation is finished. To connect to this virtual machine, you can use this work manager. Uh, let us say if I close this one. To access a server, just double click this uh, virtual machine. Another way to connect to this virtual machine that is behind NAT networking is using VNC. For that, uh, to enable the VNC connection, first of all, you need to shut down the server. For that, right click on the server. You can click on this shutdown. Now, what you need to do is click on this open. That will sh take you to this interface where you normally used to see this console. Uh, this is the hardware spec for this uh, virtual machine. Under here, the display, you need to change this PI server for, to VNC. Then you have to select the address. By default, it will be only available on the host machine, local host only. If you want to remotely access this virtual machine, using VNC then you have to select all interface here and then the port you can select if uh, by default it is auto you don't need that because it is better we have a fixed port uh, this is the default port I will keep that one or you can change this as needed then you need to set a password here uh, I, I, I will select a simple password and for now click on apply now this pi display change to VNC and we have all interface and we have a fixer port let us start this virtual machine click on this green start icon to connect to the server you can use any VNC client on Ubuntu there is a remote connection this Remina Remina remote desktop client put the IP here and then you can enter the port also it was 5900 now you need to log into the windows that is all you need to set up a KVM virtual machine using Word Manager